Okay, let's look at a couple of GED prep problems. The first one asks us to convert 10 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now on the GED, there'd be a, there would have been a whole scenario about this, but I'm just gonna cut to the chase. If you, want to cut, if you want to convert 10 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, they're gonna give you the formula, and this is what the formula looks like. So you have an F and you have a C. Well, obviously, if they give you the degrees in Celsius, you're gonna fill in for C. So what you have here is F is equal to 1.8 times 10 degrees plus 32. All right, 1.8 times 10 is just gonna move your decimal over one place, so you have 18 plus 32, and 18 plus 32 gives you 50 degrees. Okay, in this next sample, and this is a very common problem, Mary made 55, 78, 84, 93 on her last four tests. So what does she need to make on her fifth test to have an average of 80%? Well, how do you find an average? You add all the things up and you divide by how many you have. Now, right now there's four things, so you would divide by four, but what we wanna do is get all of these things added up. Now, if you add 55 plus 78 plus 84 plus 93, you're gonna get 310. Now, our new score is gonna have all those things plus X, where X is the whatever she makes on her fifth test. Now, we're gonna divide that by how many tests we have, five, and we want that to equal an 80% average, okay? So now, what do we do? We have an equation we can solve. We, to get rid of this five, we could multiply both sides by five, so now, these two cancel. You have 310 plus X is equal to 400. Then all you gotta do is subtract the 310 points that you already have, or she already has, and that's gonna tell you that she needs to make a 90 on her next test in order to have an 80% average.